What is up? Motorfest Racers, it is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornnut. We're here with Copium 6. We are running the Dodge Viper Competition Coupe on the Vintage Showdown, which is the last race in the Vintage Style Playlist. I'll show you where that race is at. I'll explain the rules. Guys, this is a great car to run. If you'd like the Viper, this is a perfect setup for it. Secure Commander locked it in. Hex through this livery on it. It is actually one of the highest downloaded liveries for this car, so it's pretty easy to find. Let's go. Let me show you what we do here for the Copium Series this week. First and foremost, let me show you where the race is at. Guys, you've got to run this Viper on this track. This race right here in the Vintage Showdown out of the Vintage Garage is kind of here in the middle of the map. It's just south of where the Electric Odyssey playlist starts. Uh, it's kind of just pretty much kind of to the northwest of where uh, the car meets at and then you go kind of up from the city. So it's, it's right here. You will have to do the Vintage um, Garage playlist to unlock it. That's probably the worst part of the whole deal if you haven't done that yet because that playlist is a little lackluster. But this track and this car pairing is bonkers and it's a lot of fun i think you guys are really going to enjoy it so that's where the race is at the car you got to use this week is the dodge viper let me pull it up here the competition coupe it is in the racing class so make sure that you pick this one up and as far as customization goes there's not much you guys can do with it uh, you can change the wheels and then all the vanity options as well. So make sure if you guys are running vanity tires, you get the ones that push those rims out as far away from the body as you can. And then other than that, just set the car up any way you want with any affixes or performance parts that you want. Let me give you the pro settings that I'll be using this week. Set up by Chimera, uh, excuse me, provided by Secure Commander. They're quite good. Don't get me wrong, you can change anything you want, do it any way you want, but this is working pretty well for me and I think you guys will enjoy it. Final drive all the way long. Grip 100% both front and rear. Brake balance, you're gonna fade that to the back so it's 45% rear. Brake power always 100% because why would we take away braking power? Aero, it is 100% in the front and then negative 17% in the rear. If you find the car to be too rowdy, literally just back it down a little bit. Add a little more load to the rear. That's gonna help you out a lot. I would do small steps. I wouldn't go from negative 17 all the way to zero because it'll make the car a little understeery. But if you are struggling with the way the car is currently set up, if you're at negative 17%, just give a little bit more arrow to the back end and that'll be the uh, solution to that. For the suspension, we are gonna stiffen it up all the way. So you're 100% both front and rear on the stiff. So that's plus 10. And then for the compression, we're gonna take a lot out of that. So the compression in the front is negative 14% fading it to the soft and in the back we're negative 11 percent so we're also fading it to the soft but not quite as much as the front for the damper rebound you are plus 12 front and plus 16 rear so we added a lot of rebound to the car to make it return to level especially for this track you're going to want that arb that's your anti-roll bars we are plus 10 percent front and plus 10 percent in the rear and like a lot of the tunes we do on the channel we are full beyonce on our camber both front and rear we are to the left to the left negative 0.25 percent both front and rear that's going to give the car the most mechanical grip that we can set up for it and it seems to track pretty straight on this track and it works really well this is also the setup that we use for the grand race for this car so two birds one stone set the car up run copium in it the only change i would make is maybe adding a little more air to the rear if you're having problems with it other than that everything pretty much stays the same and I've had great success with it in the Grand Race. It's a lot of fun. This is an awesome car in the racing class. It's not like super meta, but a lot of people like the Vipers. They like the Dodge products. They're Mopar fans, and this is a really good setup for it. So I think you guys will enjoy it. All right, so the setup and the rules for the race this week, which is right here at the Vintage Garage playlist. Let me just drive over there. You run this car, the Dodge Competition Coupe in the racing class. You go here into the Vintage Garage, Vintage Showdown, equip your car, it will look like this on the screen. Your event settings can be anything you want. So you're gonna maybe set it for the afternoon, give yourself some daylight hours. Uh, clean driving is probably gonna be recommended, get a little more money out of it. And then difficulty options, you can go from one to five, do anything you want, everything else you can do as you please. Turn on, rewind if you want. Nitro on, absolutely I'd recommend that. And then everything else is just personal preference on that, you guys. So do whatever you please. Set up the game any way you want. As long as you're doing the Vintage Showdown in the Dodge Viper Competition Coupe, that's all you need to do. At the end of your race, 
take a screenshot of your result. I need to see the car, I need to see your name, I need to see your time, and I need to see what track you did it on. Take that screenshot, submit it to me via email or via my Discord channel. Uh, we've got a whole section for the Copium series. Put it right under there under submissions and we will add your time to the spreadsheet and we'll get you divided into splits so that way you're competing against people that are of a like skill level. We get some really close racing. We had four one thousandths of a second close from a tie last week. It was a lot of fun. And we usually end up making some new friends. It's a great level of competition. And I'll try to stream this week to show you guys some of the lines on this track so that way we can kind of just increase the player base, get some more people knowing about it, and also showing you guys some of the lines. That's it. Send it to me via email, alexcordina at gmail.com. Submit your screenshot in the Discord. Drive the Viper competition coupe on the Vintage Showdown, which is the last race in the Vintage Garage playlist. Set the race up any way you want. Let's have some fun this week. Let's do some copium. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the track. We're running it from right now through next Tuesday. So make sure you get your time in this week. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.